Alright, what's up everybody? Um, so I am here today at Chipotle with my brother and uh, what I have here in front of me is four Chipotle burritos, two chicken, two steak, white white rice, black beans, sour cream salsa, everything. And um, the goal today is to show you LA East. LA East, no, yeah. Sure. My goal today is to show the LA Beast how a real man eats a burrito. So, uh, let's see this. Hi. How long do you think? It's uh, Three minutes. Alright, four to pull the burritos. In four, three, two, one. Man. Oh, the aluminum foil. It's creeping. Which one's that? The steak? <laughs> Good afternoon, Sydney. Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Kenley. And here are your afternoon announcements. Today's weather will be a high of 59 and a low of 43. Tomorrow's weather will be a high of 61 and a low of 41. It's going to be chilly. <laughs> Today, Wright State and the University of Finley will be visiting Sydney High School, so come on down. The 2015 class photo is now, now available for $20. There will be two choices, choice one and choice two. Order forms are available now, so make sure you order your photo. Are you going to order a class photo? I am. I'm class of 2015. But did you know that there's subcommittees meeting for student government today after school? I didn't know that. Well, you better be there if you're in student government. Today's quote of the day is, champions are made from something with inside them. A desire. A dream. A vision. The 2015 class photo is now available for only $20. Order forms are in the main office. You can get choice one with your hands down or choice two with your hands up. Order forms are due by Thanksgiving break and will be passed out before Christmas break. Today, Wright State and the University of Finley will be visiting SHS. Please sign up on the counselor's office before they call us down. The student government subcommittee meetings will be today after school. On Saturday, Chris Moser ran in the state championship race. He placed 67th out of 142 Division I runners. What an amazing experience and accomplishment you had, Chris. To put this into perspective, only the top seven of each team are able to run in their district race. So there are thousands of runners who don't even qualify to run in this race. Next, there are 15 district locations with at least two Division I races of at least 100 runners. So, what, so that could be a minimum of 3,000 runners in the district races combined. 
Chris also was named academic All Ohio member. Fantastic job and way to end of the year. Key Club will be collecting aluminum cans from October 28th to November 11th. If we collect 50 or more cans, we are eligible for a drawing for a scholarship of $10,000. All students who donate will take their picture with the cans and be entered in the scholarship drawing. The pictures will be taken November 12th after school and, in the, and the cans will be donated to SCARF after the pictures have been taken. You can sign up for the scholarship picture outside of room C104. Donate your cans in the cafeteria and auditorium lobby barrels. Wouldn't it be great if Sydney High School won? The book fair will be open today through Thursday from 7 to 3. It will also be open on Thursday evening for parent-teacher conferences. Girls Junior Varsity Basketball versus Indian Lake will be this Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Come support the Lady Jackets. On Thursday, November 6th from 6 to 7 p.m., there will be a college one-on-one -on -one parent information night in the lecture hall for parents and students. All grades are invited to attend. This informational session will be presented by our College 101 advisors from Edison Community College. This presentation will be over choosing a college, applying for a college, paying for your education, and debunking myths about the college selection process. If you have any additional questions, please stop by the counseling office.